Hey guys, I'm Jeff Feinberg here for Odds Checker, breaking down week three NFL DFS top plays of mine headed into week three in the NFL. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe so these videos can drop right into your feed each week, and leave a comment. Tell me which DFS plays you like this week and which one of mine, uh, which ones of mine that uh, you do not like, I guess, or tell me where I'm wrong or tell me where I'm right. Either way, let's get it rolling. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky, 5,700 at DraftKings, 7,500 at FanDuel. Trubisky gets to take on this Atlanta defense that's just getting picked on. Uh, nearly 750 yards, five touchdowns. Teams flirting with an 80% completion percentage in the passing game through two weeks thus far. Uh, he's also rushing the ball seven times through two weeks. So sneaky little rushing upside for Trubisky in this game. It's a cheap price point, and playing the Falcons seems like something you you want to go gonna go uh, to the well to potentially this season. Falcons. I mean, in a side note, those Falcons offensive players, that loss in Dallas is probably the greatest thing that ever happened to their fantasy value because that team's going to score 40 and no, they can't stop. They got to keep going. But in this case, we're going to roll with their opposing quarterback this week. Happens to be Trubisky. A uh, sneaky little 2-0 start for the Bears. You know, last year they come in with all the Super Bowl expectations and this year everyone hates on them. So it's nice to see them getting off to a good start. Uh, Cam Newton. $6,700 uh, on DraftKings, seventy-seven dollars on FanDuel. Newton looks like a rejuvenated soul. And we saw it throughout the offseason and a lot of his talk and a lot of his video. And this matchup in New England uh, has been a blessing. And it's great for the league and it's great for football fans to see Cam Newton uh, looking great. Uh, he's one of the best rushing and passing combinations at the quarterback position. He has 26 rushing attempts in two games. And just took advantage of a Seahawks defense for almost 400 yards. He's going to get the goal line carries, uh, potentially predominantly for the Patriots. Uh, and he gets the Raiders defense this week, who's given up the fourth most passing yards in the NFL. I'm willing to go to the window here uh, with Cam Newton. What we saw could just be the beginning. He looks absolutely uh, fantastic, confident, motivated, rejuvenated. Uh, I'm here for it. Uh, Cam and, and the Patriots. I'm not bothered one bit to see that they might still uh, have success there in New England. Running back, we went to the well last week with Derrick Henry, and we paid the piper, and we're going to do it again. $7,800 on, on DraftKings, $8,200 on FanDuel. He's got 60 carries and hasn't uh, found the end zone this year. That's got to be some sort of NFL record. I actually believe it is. But he's too cheap for uh, for just that much of a workload. Uh, he's going to find the end zone. You like to be, I'm pretty confident it's going to be this week. Uh, the Vikings defense, we saw Jonathan Taylor just do whatever he wanted against them. I think this could be a horrible matchup for the Vikings, uh, you know, based on what we have seen this year. Tennessee, they're happy to grind it out, win close games, rely on Derrick Henry. This week he finds the end zone. Uh, I'm quite confident in that. Derrick Henry going three weeks without uh, scoring a touchdown seems entirely improbable. Uh, he will score this week, and it will probably be comical to see what his odds to score uh, an anytime touchdown uh, might be. And uh, if I'm interested, I'll use that odds checker grid. The Titans uh, minus two and a half points in this game using that odds checker grid is also something I could be interested in. I don't want to pick on a lot of 0-2 teams this week, but the Vikings... I don't know. That could be the team that, that, that's in for a long a long ride, just based on what we've seen uh, early. Wide receivers, uh, DK Metcalf. You can't really go wrong with, with Metcalf at all. Uh, Pete Carroll is just unleashing Russell Wilson this season, and he is teaming up with, with Metcalf. It seems at ease, at will. Uh, the big play potential we have here, multiple times a game. Metcalf is the third highest uh, a dot in the NFL at 14.8 yards. Uh, this game versus Dallas could be a shootout, and it's a great matchup for Metcalf and the Seahawks. We've seen Dallas have a lot of problems uh, this year already defensively. Uh, they lost some players to free agency. They've lost some players to injury. They had to have that great comeback last week. It should be a great game. We're going to want to want a lot of pieces of this game. Probably be a popular uh, way to stack uh, 
both your both your DFS games this week. You know, just just hammering this game. It could be popular. We'll have some pivots, but we're in this game a lot. This is just the beginning. Uh, as you see, Amari Cooper, sixty five hundred dollars on DraftKings, seven thousand on FanDuel. Uh, he's on the other side of this game. The Seahawks defense has given up the most passing errors in the NFL this season and just got torched by Cam Newton and Edelman. Uh, nine and fourteen targets in his first two games. Dak is all about Cooper. Dak relies on Cooper. He's consistently going to Cooper. The shootout potential in this game makes me really want to roster Cooper. And it's a tough receiver to get away from. Both of these uh, guys. Tight ends. Drew Sample. Uh, Sample started into the, uh, stepped into the starting role after Ozuma went down with that injury against the Browns and Sample went on to have seven catches on nine targets in that game and wasn't even a starter for the full game. Burroughs love the middle of the field. Even watching him in college, the guy loves to pepper the middle of the field. Uh, Drew Sample will be living in the middle of the field. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to get these targets again. Uh, I think we could be getting these targets uh, quite consistently this year from Sample. His price point allows you to pay up across the board at other positions, but I think he's going to get the volume of a uh, top-tier tight end that isn't one of those like one-two big boys. So I'm all in on Drew Sample this week. And another cowboy I want to get in on is, is Dalton Schultz. It's tough to stay away from this game. We're going to find as many ways as we can, I guess, potentially to be in this game. Ten targets last week for Schultz. Uh, we like Schultz the same reason we like Cooper. Uh, in a shootout, makes me want a more high passing volume price, lets you build up other places. Dalton Schultz, uh, you know, to a lot of us, he's got he's building that name value, but to some people, could still be overlooking a guy like that. Again, much like Sample, I think he could produce like some of the big boys this week at the tight end position, and it obviously allows you to pay up elsewhere. Uh, defense special teams, the Eagles. It has been a rough ride for this Eagles defense this year. And to own them this week on DraftKings 2800, FanDuel, you'll pay 4500 However, they get a rookie QB and a passing offense. In DFS, all you want is chances to create turnovers and sacks. Uh, Cincinnati can provide that. you got to hope desperation breeds brilliance for uh, the Eagles this week. It'll be talk radio hell. If they lose to this rookie and uh, the Bengals this week and start 0-3. Super Bowl recently, it'll be, all be forgotten. The pitchforks will be out in, in Philly this week. Uh, Burrow has three fumbles and an interception in two games. There have been opportunities to make big plays with your defense special teams against Burrow. Maybe this will be the week that one of those uh, mistakes goes to the house. Washington. Uh, nasty front seven. Nasty. Uh, 3,000 on DK, 3,900 on FanDuel. Uh, it is a solid front seven rush group. They have the second most sacks in the league. If you can get Mayfield, if you can put pressure on Mayfield, he's bound to make the sort of mistakes that can lead to big plays and big opportunities for the defense and special teams. He has interceptions in each of his first two games. I wouldn't expect that. Um... I would expect that to continue. Washington should be able to get pressure that will force Mayfield into these sorts of situations. Uh, maybe we can get lucky and house something, uh, you know, if Mayfield wants to get real tricky. But it's all about Mayfield's tendencies and the prowess of this Redskins front seven to play into some big opportunities potentially this weekend for the Redskins. 3,000 on DraftKings, 3,900 on FanDuel. I'm Jeff Feinberg. This has been my week three NFL uh, DFS picks on, on Odds Checker. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me where you want to pivot off me. Tell me where you want to where you want to play with me and tell me, uh, I don't know, just give me a suggestion that you might think might be better than any of the ones that I have dropped here for you this afternoon. Again, Jeff Feinberg checking out. I'll be back next week breaking down more PGA content and NFL content for you at Odds Checker. And don't forget to check the Odds Checker page. We've got tons of free picks here for week three in the NFL. Uh, buyer beware, guys. Week three is a scary one. The books might bite back. History says they bite back. Those 2-0 teams have a horrible ATS record in week three. You know what? I'm going to take five seconds and pull it up. Just, just you. Week three is a scary week. We think we know. 
We've seen these teams. We think we know what they're about. The NFL has told us we don't know what they're about. And week three, the books like to uh, bounce back a little. Undefeated teams since uh, 2010. Undefeated teams since 2010. Uh, 49, 39 and 43 against the spread. But here's the thing. 0-2 teams against the spread in week three are 50 and 31. So these 0-2 teams, desperation will breed brilliance for a lot of them. Uh, I'll be using that odds checker grid to find the best numbers. There's a lot of these 0-2 teams that I will be looking to back this week based on uh, these numbers. We've seen huge upsets in week three over the past like four or five years. You go back, you look at that NFL calendar, week three, double-digit dogs. I know, you know we don't really have double-digit dogs that much in the, NF in the NFL anymore, but double-digit dogs... Uh, have come on and won outright. Remember that Vikings losing at home to the Bills is like 16-point dogs? Or 16-point favorites in the first Josh Allen showcase game? Anyway, that was my final tip. I ranted on the last weekend. Be careful. Uh, just know that water might find its level this week. But when you are betting the NFL, you'll find that best line at oddschecker.com. I'm Jeff Feinberg. We'll see you next week.